This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC Network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QCH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Got a copy? Yeah, I've got a beautiful copy on you, direct uh, 10 over 9. 10 over 9. I hope, I hope you're copying me on this beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Temperatures up to uh, close to the freezing point. KC9VKV, K1G and ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. I'm using New York and uh, getting a 10 over on you. Roger, Roger. Getting a 10 over on you. Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, Roger, Roger on that. I have a little bit of Captain Mike recorded a week, recorded a week or so ago. And, uh, uh, here he is. Uh, this will be just brief. Uh, here it is. Hundred there a few days ago. And uh, say what you want about uh, the RNL. They, uh, they really came through. They sent the thing. It came out in two days. It's uh, supposed to be arriving today. They're fine to go up. Should have that in here uh, for the weekend. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm not sure where it's going from here. Uh, maybe. Uh, with Charlie over at uh, Danville, Illinois, here at uh, at 37. So you're you're five nine plus here. We're uh, showing uh, 80 knot tailwind right now with uh, 540 knots, or uh, moving almost uh, nine miles a minute here. Uh, K1 speeds and LK at full speed. Approaching that north of uh, Cincinnati here, but uh, anyway, I'm not sure who's left in here. But, uh, might be uh, WA3 or push three or push. Okay. Uh, that's uh now cut it. Could you copy that, uh, Jim? K C nine V K V K one G Z L. Roger, Roger, Charlie, got it uh, pretty good there. Uh, you know, uh, do you have any further word on when your amp's gonna be ready? Uh, when your amp's gonna be ready? Uh, no, I don't. I uh, absolutely don't have any idea. Have uh, any idea? I understand that the weight is very, very extensive uh, down there in uh, Mississippi. Uh, they've been backed up uh, very badly with so, so many, uh, so many uh, people that have had integrations uh, in there. So I'm still waiting. My uh, uh, buddy up the road here, uh, KB1, I suggest you, uh, uh, Bob, uh, he, uh, uh, he has uh, available an a, uh, AL80 Alpha, an AL80 Alpha, however, that is in a shed that's full of snow, and uh, he has not been able to uh, get, uh, get that out yet get that out and fit it and uh, check it out and see if uh, it uh, is operational. I understand that will put out 600 watts. We'll put out 600 watts. Uh, but the way I'm uh, working uh, now, just with the 7300 uh, barefoot and uh, the length of line I have feeding this quad, uh, I don't think I've got more than uh, at the very maximum 60 watts. Uh, 60 watts uh, getting to uh, uh, this uh, three element uh, diamond shaped wire quad that I'm using, Jim. Uh, KC9 VKV, K1G ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, but if you're starting with 600 watts as opposed to 100 watts, so you're still going to have some uh, some loose change up there on that antenna, Roger. Loose change up there on that antenna, Roger. Well, it uh, it should uh, increase the power four times, uh, no, six times, uh, six times, and uh, that certainly can make a difference, especially uh, when the uh, band is uh, poor. However, when Captain Mike is flying on his uh, runs between uh, uh, Sacramento, California, and Philadelphia, and vice versa, uh, there are times that he just uh, smashes in here. Uh, like he's right, uh, right in the room, and uh, the amazing uh, quality on those transmissions of his, uh, you don't hear any whining noise, any engine noise, or anything. In fact, uh, I know, uh, 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 I know his uh, voice uh, in person, uh, and I know Mike's uh, voice uh, in person. And he sounds uh, just the same uh, on the aircraft. 
uh, as he does sitting right here, or when he's transmitting from home in southwestern uh, Virginia, uh, he does a remarkable uh, job, even on the ramp, either in uh, Sacramento or in uh, uh, or in uh, Philadelphia, in Philadelphia. So that's uh, the way that goes. However, he's off for maybe two or three weeks. He's off for about two or three weeks before he will be um, uh, flying again on that uh, coast-to-coast uh, run. KC9VKV, uh, K1G, uh, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, today must be a very busy day because a lot of the uh, Internet SDRs are uh, up to capacity and uh, they have a waiting list. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, two of my favorites, uh, I'm on that waiting list of about uh, 20, 20 down, so I'm, they're not going to be much use to me this afternoon, unfortunately. But uh, we shall pursue, uh, treasure on, Roger, Roger. Uh, treasure on, Roger, Roger. Okay, which SDR are you using and where is it located, uh, Jim? I'm using uh, a Washington, D.C. SDR at the moment. Uh, it's about uh, about 3 dB hotter than New York, Roger. 3 dB hotter than New York, Roger. Uh, okay, uh, Roger. Uh, okay, uh, very, very fine. Well, look, Jim, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. And we'll try to catch you next uh, Friday. Catch you next uh, Friday. I hope the uh, damage from that storm last week uh, is not uh, too uh, severe. It wasn't too severe. I understand you had a tree come down. Uh, how did that work out? Uh, did that work out okay? Is everything uh, running uh, properly at the present time? Go ahead. Yes, sir. It's just amazing that tree, uh, a part of it came down and wound up uh, resting on our roof uh, at an angle off to the ground. And uh, I took my trusty chainsaw over there and cut a couple of branches of it. And it uh, did a, uh, a somersault off onto the ground right over my uh, picket fence and only lost a few pickets there. And uh, that uh, big thing is, is on the ground. But uh, if, since then, I've had uh, that tree uh, removed. <laughs> <laughs> and it is uh, no longer uh, uh, a problem uh, ever, ever again. Uh, it is uh, a, a little sawdust left on the ground where you once stood, Roger. Left on the ground where you once stood, Roger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can understand. I can understand that. Let's hope uh, that you don't have any more violent uh, storms. Uh, as you were having that uh, storm, it was snowing up in South Bend. In northern Indiana at the same time uh, that you were having that problem. So the dividing line between all that uh, cold air to the north last week and where you are uh, is, is just enough to kick that off. And we have a possibility, it's not a definite by any means, uh, but there is a possibility of a fairly significant storm uh, up here on uh, next uh, next Tuesday, which is our voting day here in uh, New Hampshire, uh, next Tuesday could be kind of wild uh, if this thing doesn't go out to sea uh, too far to the east and south. Uh, but it's uh, got the possibility that it may be a, a major low pressure area traveling uh, uh, off uh, the coast and uh, northeastward, probably east of uh, Cape Cod, uh, with the upper air uh, forming it to further to the west over the eastern Great Lakes. So we have to be very careful on watching what that uh, does. And uh, right now on the ground, we have, I'd say, between 22 and 25 uh, inches of snow on the ground, although today is a beautiful day. It's uh, sunny and uh, it was cloudy early this morning, but it has cleared off. And there's a little uh, storm to our southwest, but that's going out to sea. We're not getting that uh, first storm. Okay, Jim, I'll sign with you here. And I understand you're picking me up through uh, Washington, D.C. I don't know if that's the Arlington one or, or not, uh, but uh, you're coming in uh, very, very uh, well indeed. Excellent, excellent uh, copy. 
KZ9, ZKZ. Uh, have a good week, and hopefully we'll catch you next week. K1GZL, Clarksville, Northern New Hampshire. Roger, Roger, Charlie, always a pleasure, sir, and I'm, uh, you know, just uh, holding my breath for the return of your imp <laughs> and uh, m me getting into uh, Milford, uh, PA. So uh, <laughs> when those two things occur, things will be just absolutely perfect. I'll keep praying. <laughs> 73 of that way, Charlie, sounding good, and catch you later. This is the Friday afternoon in QSO v uh, My name is Jim, sometimes known in some circles as Dr. VKV. We are recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And that'll take you to our YouTube QSO Vlog page, where we're currently featuring over... Uh, 2,500 QSO VLOG air check recordings. This will be a cut number one in that series. We also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out. KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Well, let's uh, get on to business there and open it up. Uh, it's going to be an interesting afternoon because I can't get my uh, my SDRs up because uh, they're in use by other folks. So uh, I have uh, one that uh, is working fairly well. We shall see, we shall see how that goes. Uh, this is uh, KC9VKV, Friday afternoon, KISS OV like net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Radio you want to check out, give me a shout.